Good evening. Welcome to the Comic Book Shop of Doom. I'm your host. This is the nightly news for Wednesday, June 17, 2020. This video is not for children, so if you're under 13, get your parents' permission to watch this video. If anything, get your mom and dad to watch this video with you, and you could ask questions. Hey, mom, dad, what's he talking about? Can you explain that? Or anything else. I try to keep these videos clean. But sometimes I may flip off a word or two, and I don't need a COPA fine of $40,000 from YouTube or the government. So here's all your comic book, wrestling, and movie, and TV news for Wednesday, June 17, 2020. Okay, we got a death. R.I.P. the Pat Briner, Brimer, 70. He was the puppeteer for the gopher in Caddyshack. So the gopher that's shaking around and all that and the, going in the holes, he was the guy operating that thing. He passed away. So condolences to his family and friends. Okay, this is really messed up. Queeby, the new streaming service that was mainly designed for phones. Well, now you could put it on your TVs. It's on pace to only hit less than 30% of their marked customer base. So this thing's a major flop. So Either it's going to get shut down or somebody's going to buy it. So sooner or later, it's it's done. It's dead. Okay, this is really messed up. 13,000 film and TV companies have closed in China so far in 2020 due to the COVID-19 spread of the virus. 13,000 companies. Can you imagine if these companies are putting out one or two movies a year or TV shows? So... How many movies and TV shows are floating around in China? That is crazy. The numbers that that's is crazy. I don't know how they sustain that much, you know, depth of, of movies. It's just it's mind-boggling if each one put out one or two movies a year or TV shows. It's crazy. Okay, Zack Snyder gave a thing where in the Batman versus Superman movie. The Dawn of Justice, they got Dick Grayson's... Um, it's actually Dick Grayson that got killed by the Joker, the Robin. So, <clears throat> in the DC Cinematic Universe, as of right now, Dick Grayson is dead. Clive Barker could be getting the Hellraiser rights back in 2021 as part of the new copyright laws because he's the original writer and creator of that project. He already filed a lawsuit telling the guys that he intends to get those prop, that property back. So Lawrence Cuppin, who used to be a, an owner of New World Pictures back in the 80s, he's had those rights for years. He's been the one making all these movies on the, behind the scenes with the Weinsteins and direct the video flicks, just keeping them going. So he had the underlying Hellraiser rights, and now we don't. Punchline could be getting her own DC comic book. So that's the Joker's girlfriend. Uh, possibly getting her own book. Marvel is going to be adding the Diamond Comeback logo on their comic book covers. That our comeback's going to be bigger than our setback or something. Creepshow is receiving Series 3 script order from Shudder. So they're going to do a third series of Creep Show. Chicago Days of the Dead, November 20th through 22nd, 2020. Boy, this is expensive. Table, 325 bucks. Two tables, 600 bucks. Three tables, 850. Oh my goodness. Who is here? So they're expensive with their table prices for this convention if you want to sell your comics and toys and junk. Come on. Amazing Spider-Man number 850, Norman Osborn is back. Makes his return, so the Green Goblin is back in the com Spider-Man comics. The Shout Factory, video company, streaming company, they picked up the Kenny Rogers 10 film library, including all the, the five Gambler movies that he did for TV, and they're going to do a Gambler remake, possibly for TV. So Kenny Rogers died around March so they didn't wait very long to buy that from his family, so they picked up his library of 10 TV movies he made. X of Swords, the crossover for Marvel, is scheduled to go into November. 
There was a rumor that there was going to be a new Captain Britain comic. Well, that's not true. It's a reprint coming out of X of Swords. So they, they corrected that. It's a reprint of Captain Britain stories. Jim Lee announces DC's Virtual Comic Con, the DC Fandome, Saturday, August 22nd. So go to dcfandome.com for information. So this is taking the place of uh, San Diego Comic Con. So they're going to have an internet comic convention. Star Wars Celebration is going to return in 2022. So yesterday I said 2021. Well, there was a correction. It's not going to come out until 2022. So they canceled the one they were going to have this year in Anaheim. Immortal She-Hulk. She's getting her a, a book coming out of Empire, the Marvel storyline. So they're going to capitalize on the hit Immortal Hulk. So they're going to have Immortal She-Hulk. Marvel Comics coming back in September. Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Juggernaut, Marvel Zombies Resurrection, and Doctor Doom. So all those books were put on a hiatus due to the COVID panic, the pandemic. Seattle's Emerald City Comic Con has been canceled. So no Emerald City Comic Con this year. Max Brooks, a.k.a. Mel Brooks' son, he wrote World War Z. He has a Bigfoot book called De-Evolution. It was picked up by Legendary to be made into a movie. The Film Independent Spirit Awards, they are usually the day before the Oscars. They're delayed this year till April 24th, or actually next year, April 24th, 2021, just like the Oscars were delayed. I don't know why they're delaying the Oscars. It only has anything to do with any movies released in the past year. So it's still going to cover everything that was released during the year of 2020. I don't know, it's strange. Regal Cinemas is to reopen July 10th, so they'll probably do the you know, limited seating, cleaning everything. Alex Ross has done a cover for Marvel's Rise of Ultraman number one. So he did a really good cover. Okay, wrestling news. Evolve ceases operations ASAP. So they're denying that WWE has bought the company or bought the tape library. So we'll see what happens with that, but they have no plans to run any shows and they're blaming it on the pandemic. Now here's the rumors of the two guys that possibly could be the secret witness against WWE in that lawsuit with Saudi Arabia. There's been talk on the internet, it's either Dax Harwood, who was Scott Dawson of The Revival, a.k.a. FTR, or Eric Rowan. So we still don't know who it is, so we'll have to wait and see. Stardom is back June 21st, 2020, so that's Sunday. They're going to have their first show in Japan with limited seating. The IWA Mid-South, Ian Rotten, runs Indianapolis, Indiana this Friday, June 19th. Same thing, limited seating. They're going to have masks at the door for sale. They're going to have hand sanitizer. Everybody has to hand sanitize their hands in order to come in. They were supposed to have Chris Statlander on that card, but she ain't coming now because she has to get knee surgery. But uh, Michael Elgin is going to be there wrestling for Ian Rotten. A PC, so the Performance Center talent, not on TV, has COVID-19. So WWE, somebody that they're training has COVID-19. It's not somebody that's been on TV yet. So it's just a trainee. They haven't said who it is due to HEPA laws. Impact Wrestling has renewed their Mexican TV deal with NVS TV. So Impact has TV down south of the border. WWE used real fans at their performance center for the WWE Raw tapings on Monday. They canceled Tuesday's tapings because of uh, COVID-19 with that breakout where somebody got sick, the performance center talent. They're going to resume... Uh, on Wednesday, they're going to tape SmackDown, and they're you know cleaning down the place and everything, you know, sanitizing everything, and everybody's getting checked for COVID nineteen. Everybody have a good night.